uh, any impeachment motion in this country on the office of the president or his deputy is provided for at Article 144 and 145 of the Constitution. And the processes are lengthy. And the processes need numbers. What I can tell you from the beginning is that there are no numbers to impeach either Ruto himself or Gachagua in Parliament. There will be those who will be saying yes, and there are many others who will abstain. Ruto understands this from the beginning, that he does not have numbers to impeach Gachagua. Kwa hivo, ile hiko ni kipidi. Ile munaita kipidi le. This is yet another of the diversionary tactics that has been used by William. Now he will continue using them. Remember we had the Azimio demonstrations. Akaturetea kipidi le ya nadiko. Kukakua na mabu ya jenzi. Akareta kipidi ya broad-based government. And all these things are meant to ensure that we forget the big issues that are facing us as Kenyans. The problems that are facing us and especially the young people of this country. Kila mmoja Kenya sasa anajua mambo ya Adani. Adani has become an embarrassment to us as a nation. You saw Badi himself yesterday, the newcomer in, the new, in this government, who was sent there so that he can give his expertise, completely unable to explain what Adan is to the Senate. Adani has also gotten into the health sector through chief. He mambo about tunambiwa razima tuigie kwa chief, kwa chief, kwa chief. Adani ukokule. Kwa hivyo ukiponyoka kwa airport, anakumeza kwa hospitali. We still have many issues that are concerning us. Leo hii tukiwa hapa, we have a young people in Nyandarwa demonstrating because of education. We are demonstration in Akuru because of education. This thing that is being called this we, um, the, the funding model of the university, that they are calling variable scholarship and loan funding model is not a Kenyan model. If you ask me, that is another Adani model. Sooner than later, you will hear them buying our universities when they become uh, investments that are viable. Yet, we have our leaders crisscrossing the country talking about an impeachment that will never be there. Yani sisi wa Kenya tumekubali tu kuwekwa kwa kipidi baada ya igine. Hametueka kwa kipidi na hameenda inje. When we had demonstrations as Azimio, we wanted to impeach the entire Ruto regime. When you were saying Ruto must go, it is Ruto, is not the Ruto the person. It is Ruto na vifarangayate ya keote. Na selikari yake yote. Hii sasa wanaona wakipidua kuanza kupereka kwa mtu moja. It is to divert our attention. That again on the 25th of June this year. Gen Z impeached parliament. Gen Z impeached the KK administration. We are talking about impeachments when young people, even today, are being abducted. Hatujaabiwa mpaka waleo, zile mili ya baso silipatikana kule kwale, zilikuwa saa kinanani, zilikuwa gapi.
and we have agreed to be taken on a kipindi abacho akina maana the sole objective of imaneno yote munaona it is how can one man called Samoe Ruto survive until 2027 and after and that is why wale ambao wanaongea mambo ya impeachment wameelekezwa kwa mlima peke yake he is so scared of the numbers from the mountain that put him in power that now that it is clear to him that hata watoto wenyewe wanajua yeye ni muongo sijui kama umeenda kwa nasari school msikie watoto wakiiba ukisema kitu anaiba ruto ni muongo ruto ni that's the song that you find in the morning when you go to study school classrooms kwa mlima hakuna mtu wako kwa uda na wale ambao wanasukuka wajue kwamba hii kipindi ni ya kuhakikisha pia tunaposahau mambo yote ambayo yanatusumbua Kenya ambayo yameletwa na uda he also scatters the vote in the mountain the extrajudicial killings happened under the watch of one Kithure Kidiki he is the CS in charge of interior as we stand here there is a petition being given to parliament sahi na wazazi ambao hawajui watoto wao wako wapi ama vizazi vyao viko wapi na ni kwa sababu Ruto mwenyewe alisema he is not aware of anybody who has been abducted at least is being presented to them today at parliament at uh, and also at Harabi house but instead of our leaders focusing on those issues wanatupeleka kwa kipindi ya impeachment impeachment and i want to tell them again there is there are no numbers there is nobody being impeached tunachezewa tena na hasa watu kutoka kwa mlima na kama kweli wako na shida ya yale ambayo yanaendelea in all their meetings I have not had any of them talk about Bob Jage. The long term brothers Jamil and Asmil. They were kept away from their parents in places unknown for 32 days. Siku 32. Umewekwa pingu, umefungwa, haujijui. Sandre, we were actually told and we will be trying I have been trying to visit the family that even the young man is not a young man actually bob is not a young man he's in his 40s with an expectant wife but he has to be taught many things he's like literally have to be taken human again to even his own family if those things are happening among us ladies and gentlemen Impeachment is the least of the things that should be on your pit on your table. We should all come together and work to ensure that we have a better regime in the coming days than what we have. And that is why we have only two sides of this coin. You have Operation Okoa Kenya na bao mimi niko na wengine wetu na Operation Okoa Zakayo. Hii impeachment yote maneno it is operation okwa zakayo and if you belong to that debate and you be, you believe that we are not being managed well as a country jump out come join us in operation okwa kenya it is a sacrifice that we must make as kenyans you will not be paid by anybody to say operation okwa kenya lakini uko pale unakula mchara na you are trying to tell us that you are helping Kenyans this other side haiwezekani finally ligiji and team they were able used by ruto to make him president 2022 walitumia midomo yao na nafasi zao kusabasa hatred and especially among the people of Mount Kenya region. 
the same team is now being used by William Ruto to, sub to ensure that the vote in Mount Kenya is scattered. So that come 2027, if not earlier, we do not vote as one block. If truly they know that this regime is not useful to Kenyans, like those of us all aware, wadoke kwa uda, wahame, wakuje tufanye kazi pamoja kama operation okoa Kenya. Lakini usifikiria kwamba tutaongea mengine sisi kama watu ambao wanaelewa William Ruto tagu zamani kidogo. Twenty thousand students have been removed from the help. Twenty thousand because they cannot. They have been removed from the help uh, facility. How is it working at Chule? Uyo mtoto akiamuka ama uyo kijana akiamuka hana ligini anafikiria maisha yake ya kesho ya kovipi. Na sisi kama viongozi ambao tuko, bona hatu ya yale. Tunafikiria vile tu tutaendelea kukaa kwa viti na vile abao um, tutaendelea uh, kwa kikicha kwamba hali yetu iko sawa. Let us refocus. Let us go to where we were when we started this struggle. Berujo Luto regime must go. And it will not go through an impeachment uh, circus. It will go when we all remain very clear in our minds. Kwa sababu, haina maana ya kwanza kwa, kwa halibu hafikila ya watu. You will see that Kenyans are now confused. They do not know what is what. Which is also part of the game plan of William Ruto. The usefulness of the broad-based government has now come to an end. That is now we have the impeachment. Hii nae kwa sababu haina numbers. In another couple of weeks before December, kutakuwa na kipidi kigine. So please spare us from these unnecessary ladies all over the country. Again, when you are a deputy president, you are not a deputy president of a region. You are a deputy president of the whole republic. So if you want to have those ladies, have them across the country. So that then the whole country is the one that is behind this whole issue. But when we see you concentrating on one region, it is still the same thing ya kipidi ambacho kimepangwa kwa mulima. Jamani watu wa mulima, tutatumiwa vibaya tuamuke wale wanakaa kule. Lakini siyo tuamuke kwa sababu ya ukabila, ni tuamuke kwa sababu Kenya ni yetu sisi zote. Na washukuru sana. Asante sana. A question? Yes, Dugu.